Hello everyone and welcome to this replay of Third Age Total War Scenario for the Spawn of Sauron campaign. Today we have a scenario called Defend the Farms, well the Border Farms, which is a 3v5. Now this has been done by another YouTuber but a different version of this. This has now been updated and changed about a bit. So let's get straight down to the army comps. We have the first Mordor army, commanded by Froggy. We have some Moranan Urks, some Moranan Heavy Maulers, two Morgul Chosen, some Moranan Halberds. Moranan Urks. Two Moranan Bows. Two Shield Guard. One Uruk Bodyguard. One Temple Inquisitor. And Uruk High. Moving on to the next good uh, Mordor army. Which is commanded by Pizza Maker. We have Moran and Urx. Nice line of them. Temple Guard and Moran and Bows. Uh, Moran and Heavy Maulers. Shield Guard, Morgul Chosen. Halberds. Actually, I believe they're Mor yeah, Moran and Halberds. Uh, bodyguards, two units, two Sauron's Will, Inquisitors, and another unit of Olagai. Moving on to the two weaker Mordor armies, one of which is commanded by Alisan the Idiot. We have Urux, Orc Raiders, Moran and Bows, Urux Archers, Orc Maulers, Morgul Chosen. Uh, you have a couple of Moran and Urux, a lot more standard Urux. An Urux Bodyguard. Oh, did I miss? Yeah. We got more Urx, Urx, Orc Raiders, Orc Raiders, Urx, Mountain Trolls, oh, that's the other one, mate. Then we have Urx, uh, more Urx, okay. Moving on to the next one, we have commanded by Jeffrey. We have Mountain Trolls. We have Morgul Chosen, Urk Bodyguard, Numenorean Shield Guard. Uh, a lot of Orc Maulers and Orc Raiders, some Urks. Urk Cowbirds. And a couple of Urk Archers. Okay, let's go see Isengard. Who is commanded by Enfits? We have some Urk Reavers in the front line. Urkai Raiders. Urkai Infantry. Urkai Raiders. Urkai Pikemen. Urkai Archers. Nazgai Bodyguard. And Guards of Orphan. Trolls of the Right Hand and Berserkers. Okay, so we may as well start with the guy he's facing for the good team, which is Gondor, which is commanded by Arcturus. They have some Wardens of the Right Tower, Shielded Fountain Guard, Guards of Ascilia, 
some Citadel Guard, some standard Fountain Guard mixed in with them. Uh, what's back here? Oh, more Wardens of the White Tower. <laughs> some veterans of our Skiddy off. There's his Citadel bodyguard, which has his general in. Then we have a nice long line of Lossanak nobles. Bloody beautiful unit. Then we have some Gondorian winged swordsmen, because you don't usually see them that often. And some sons of Argonoth. Moving on to Dol Amroth, commanded by Salty Iron Guard. We have some Talon Knights, Haven Guard, Halberdiers, some Marksmen, some Talon Knights. Dismounted Swan Knights and Terrifier Wardens. Okay, where's the rest of your forces? Then we have some Men at Arms, more Swan Knights, more Halberdiers, more Men at Arms. Some more Dismounted Swan Knights, some Dolamoth Men at Arms, and some more Halberdiers. Moving on to Umbar, commanded by yours truly. You have some Royal Guard. Some Harbingers. Some Belagir Footmen and Belagir Halberds. Some Abrazanim Naduzaga, some Castamir's Chosen, and some Corsair Fencers. And then we have some Abrazanim Nadubarib and some Royal Archers. And if we come all the way around here, we have my Corsair Blackguard, my Abrazanim Nadu Tarek, and my Halberd. Okay, so let's get this on the way. I instantly move my halberds to this line and move those halberds down there. But if you look at the fight that should kick off first. Oh, camera. Ah, yes, half orc vanguard, which I forgot in the army comps. Charging into the lines. Ah, beautiful. The fight has already started. Oh, the pikemen are coming in as well. Let's go down the line and see these pikemen. Oh, the hook weavers have come in as well. The guards of Askiria standing strong with the Citadel Guard. As we move a little further down the line. Got a message on Steam, I'm not even going to bother answering just yet. 
Irk Reavers. Fighting strong. As we head down the battle line. Ah yes, he's now sending the Dossanark nobles. Oh, there goes someone's horn. Ah yes, they're slowly coming up this hill. And the other one. What about here? Oh, it looks like it's engaged over here. Yep, we have an engagement. Nice engagement of Moran and Urx against my Halberds. Now Salty's far flank doesn't get assaulted for quite a while and there were rules in this battle um, the rules are Gondor and Isengard must destroy one another before they can reinforce their allies and the two Mordor armies on the flanks must split their armies into groups of four or five units and attack in raves So as you can see, the first wave has hit here. The two Regal Mordor armies, we just let do what the hell they want. No, they're only fodder armies at the end of the day. Or are we going to have an engagement here? In they come. No, it's only Orc Raiders. We have Alt Maulers there. So let's head back to Isengard and uh, the, the Gondor. I will get the words out. As we can see the line battle, the gold, I mean the white and black. Go down the line a bit, it's very laggy. It's very laggy over near Gondor. That is for sure. Why have you put me down there? I want you to be here. Now you may think this battle is a foregone conclusion, but just hold your breath. You may be surprised. Or maybe not. Although there are going to be some changes to the map again. I'm going to be moving a couple of the fences on either flank. I'm moving a couple of the smaller camps and try and fix some of the pathfinding issues.
Let's actually zoom in here. Once we slow down a bit. They're just pushing and pushing. These Morana nerds. Oh, the heavy maulers have come in now as well. Oh, fun. Ah, yes, there we the go. My Nardu Tarics are being men. committed. Uh, these fights actually properly kicked off now. Yep, these fights have kicked off. Uh, they're holding strong though as they're coming up the slopes. Let's look at how Salty's doing. He's doing very well. Oh, are they about to have an engagement on his flank? Are they, are they, are they, are they, are they? Oh, it looks like it's close. As they're coming up the hill. Arrow shots are coming in. Men at arms in shield wall mixed in with the hellbirds. Very nasty defensive line. Look at how one more he's on. Let me at him! I'll break through on my own! <laughs> I like that single mauler charging ahead. Then the Yurks come in just like, you're not getting all the fun yourself, you punk. Gondor and Isengard, how are you doing? Urkai Infantry. Along with the Sons of Argonoth, Wardens of the Right Tower. Lovely. Lost and Arc Nobles in there as well. Let's head over here. To the Fountain Guard and Citadel Guard against the Urukai Pikemen. Oh, and some winged swordsmen. As we just continue down the line, bit by bit. And yes, we have more fighting with Warden's Right Tower Shielded Fountain Guard and Fountain Guard and the Sarnak Nobles up here. Uh, 
as we zoom over the map. My Umbuim forces fighting on this slope <clears throat> with archer support from this nice position here. Let's have a look over here. Ah uh, yes, he's now sending in his Morgul Chosen. They're pushing their way to the front. Uh. People are going flying. <laughs> Customer is chosen are coming around to support. Head back to the Gondor fight. Yep, they've run on that flank, so pretty much Gondor's just cleaning up now. Nazgai bodyguard still fighting. Let's take a close up of this fight. As we can just see in distance, sister our guard charging into the flanks. Yeah, let's go look at Salty's flank. Oh, he's pushed out. His men at arms. Dismounted Swan Knight's now coming forward. Oh, what's he shooting? Ah, two of our marksmen. A yeah, pretty decent target. But the marksmen are returning fire and. In an Archer v Archer, the marksman will win. Man and units are still fighting. 
Let's look at the centre. The two choke points at the centre. Gondol still, I mean Dolamov still standing strong on this one. Yep, they're slowly being pushed there. Yep, Casimir's chosen coming forward. Now my javelins, my um, <coughs> blackguard would not fire, so I just decided to send them into the melee. But I love what happened shortly here. So I'm going to stay here for a minute for when the shield wall activates. Yeah, Salty's sending those Talon Knights to this flank to help me. Because I saw what the enemy have left. But next wave is incoming. Yeah, Shield Wall, now they're just getting pushed. This is how good Shield Wall can be sometimes. I'm not actually entirely sure of the story behind this battle. Yes, I created it, but I didn't really think of the story when creating it. I just kind of created it. All I know is it's somewhere on the King's Island. A fortified uh, river crossing with a massive camp, and that's all I thought of. Uh, let's take a look, quick look at the percentages. 31 to 39. So the good... Oh, 40. So it looks like the good guys are winning by 9%. Yeah, trolls are now involved. I don't really think the rule of attacking in raids was followed, but... Well, Foggy, Foggy followed it, at least, but I'm not sure that the other Mordor player did, but... Eh, uh, oh well. Yeah, those Moran and Bows have taken a beating. Let's actually get a close up of this combat if I can get the camera angle. Halberd, Talon Knights, or is that Dismounted Swan Knight? No, Dismounted Swan Knights. Standing strong together.
As you just see the blood spatter as the returning fire hits uh, Milano Bay. <laughs> Let me continue down here. What's going on down here? Jump, 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 come, uh, stop being so jumpy. Is it still the Naz guy? Yeah. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. I believe that was Isengard's general. Isengard is pretty much thoroughly defeated now. So he can head back to the front. Yeah, as we see, we've now pushed a pushed Pizza Maker back. My archers are out of ammo, so they're coming in to fight in melee. My royal archers and our Duba Rib. Let's head over to the centre fights. As we see these orcs just trying to fight their way through. But I do have arrows coming into my units. Which is never good, but... I had no answer, so my men had to keep fighting. Orc Raiders. There's more craters and a couple of others. Salty has actually been rather conservative and actually still got most of his units. <laughs> Not even in combat yet. And in comes pretty much the rest of Froggy's force. Let's take a look at this front line fight. There's a Moran and Uruk, a Moran and Halberds, and more heavy maulers fight. The noble men of Dol Amroth. As we have another unit of dismounted Swan Knights coming in. Judges are now 34 to 48. bloodied they have lost half their men okay the enemy's lost one army of the enemy have lost half their men 
As you can see, Gondor's turned around and is now heading up the hill since they've defeated Isengard. Fight, fight, fight to the last. Okay, well, slowing down the game to point five has actually sped it up. <laughs> Talon Knights were almost there. As you just see my own fight. <laughs> yeah, you know, bodyguard are involved, but that's not the general for this army. Generally yeah, this army is a temple guard unit. Really. <coughs> Thirty five to fifty one. So half of the enemy has now died. As we see, I'm standing strong there. Let's head and look at the centres. Which again are still holding strong. Especially Dolan Ross, which is holding a bit stronger than mine with less units. Good old salty. Froggy not being able to make much headway here. What's coming over here? Ah, Haven Guard. Ooh, camera issues. Yep, Tadden Knights now getting into position. Temple guard just stood there unloaded. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, you see the occasional arrow come flying in. It's hard because if I remove all these fences, it tips it too far in the orcs' favour. If, but yeah, having these fences here tips it in the good guys' favour. So I'm going to be removing a few fences, see whether that affects it. But I'm not entirely sure. Yes. Has that fight? He does send his Tanner Knights in eventually. He just forgot to. Ah, I've been given some support here by dismounted Swan Knights. Thirty-eight to fifty-six. Come on, come at me. Yeah, as we see this fight here, let's go to the top and actually the dead let's stay at this late fight for a minute I have been told I don't do enough close-ups, so that's why there's a lot more in this video. It's come on, Dolan Roth. Let's head to the other Dolan Roth fight. Oh, do not ask about the floating fences. That's a game issue. Like that one right there. I can get the camera to work.
Ah, oh, that'll do. Forty to fifty-nine. Nearly twenty percent difference. <coughs> but in saying that we did have two new players in this battle so they're not quite as experienced as the rest of us so they so this isn't really a proper test of it I'd need to test it with all experienced players to be sure Okay, let's see what's going on on the far side. Yep, Tad Knights are in the fight now. My men, my men are holding strong. Oh yes, I'm now putting back my black guards. Which, as I'm pulling around, they are going to get shot, but... Oh, well. Yeah, Tanner Knight's doing the shield wall. As soon as I realise, my men go to shield wall and help. Forty one to sixty one, but it still says the balance of power is evenly matched. It's unusual to see Dalam Offen and Bass standing as one. It is nice to see men making a united front. In come more Moran and Halberds. And he's now bringing the Inquisitors forward. Let's head back to the centre fight.
We've lost half of our men. Yeah, I've lost half of my army. Oh well. So we're still fighting down this hill. So let's head to the other centre position. Which is still being held. I do believe the far flank is still being held as well. I do believe that holds all the way to the end. Only half the enemy force remains. No. Only 36% of the enemy force remains, you stupid advisor. Get your facts right before you speak. Yeah, war and uh, yeah, wardens have now come into here to shore up this flank. A lot of death and carnage on this field. That bit there is really freaking bugging me. I'm going to have to sort that out. That freaking one patch of white there. Oh yes, the Belfast Marines are coming. Let's head back over. Yes, this beautiful fight here. That one Tannen Knight just surrounded us. Yeah, bring it on! Yeah, so I was really in here. Temple Inquisitors are coming up. Oh, no, I want to get close up of this death and carnage. Eee, look at all these dead. Bloody beautiful. Oh 
as we come over here. As you can see in the mix, I still have fences left. The end of the battle, those fences, although only about two survived, they had nine chevrons each. But I do believe they run away because they don't have locked morale. At least I don't think they do. No, I don't actually know of any union the Forge has locked morale. I think in the Forge they all come out. Let's head over to the other centre. As we fly through this beautiful, beautiful grass. Ah yes, this beautiful fight. It's like a spearhead. Okay, let's look at the far flank. Arrows just flying in. From Foggy. Now we're at around about the halfway marker. And it's forty nine to sixty nine per cent. But yes, those more Adam Bays are freaking ate them.
go so we got that fight let's head back over so there's only four choke points now fighting so we just need to keep swapping between them We've become very depleted on this flank. Now we were calling Gondor for aid, but in the end we told him to form a secondary line. Let's head to the centre. Yeah, this fight's still going on. Let's have a look over here. Yep, still going strong with the defenders. Still got this one going on over here, and now in comes the rest. The two shield guard, Temple Inquisitors, and Foggy Zodokai are still fresh. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Ah, for God's sake, someone needs to send that advisor back to bloody school. There's freaking 28% of the enemy left, not freaking half. Fifty two to seventy two, though. Let's continue on. Yes, the veterans of Asgiriath. Winged swordsmen, shielded fountain garden guards of Asgiriath forming a secondary line. As this flank has pretty much fallen. The last remnants of forces here are trying to hold back as long as possible. But it is fruitless. What can men do against such reckless hate? We can run away, sire. Nope, not an option. <laughs> Oh, what's Gondor sent in? Oh no, that's salty with marksmen.
See, you can even see the other centre from here still fighting strong. Feet seem certain for the Let's take a closer look at this one. You can clearly see the two defined nations clashing and where the line is. And let's go look over where Froggy's attacking him. Oh dear. Not looking good. At least not for the art. Sorry if I sound a bit down guys, I did this video pretty much as soon as I woke up, so I'm a very tired. Only half the enemy force remains. God, will someone send that bloody advisor back to school? Here forms the lines. Yeah, they pretty much overrun us here. There's a couple of Umberim still standing and a couple of Talon Knights, but they will not suffice. I do send my forces down from the last stand position over here. Eventually. As we just come back down here. Starting to fall like flies. Yeah, they're still holding strong here. So let's go watch this fight over here for a bit.
Oh, we have Tadanites in here now as well. Defeat seems certain on that side for the Orcs. But they have broken through on one side at least. Here comes my black guard. This fight's almost concluded. The fight is still happening. <laughs> Let's look at the percentages. 
it's, this was actually, I found it, and from the sounds of it, in, with the others in voice chat, we all found this scenario pretty fun. And we like the idea of the map. Hey, come on guys, into position. Farm up a secondary line. But sir, we do not have enough men. I don't care, just farm up that second line. It wardens on the move. Only 10,000 frames to go. minute we're doing four frames a second sixty to eighty four Yes, my men are now slowly getting there. Which means soon we will have our next line formed. Made of harbingers of Castamere, Royal Guard, Black Guards and Wardens. <laughs> what a second line. Like Don Amroth is still fighting st very strongly. As we spin around the map, oh no, I didn't want to go into the water. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. And it's time for a counter charge. Yep, here we go. Same with the Royal Guard. Uh, it's beautiful. Don and Roth Umba standing together on this line. And eventually Gondor.
It's my harbingers are taking losses. No. But these guys are moving across here to intercept these. To shore up this gap. Good old black card. Let's actually get a close up of this battle line. Ah, yes, the wardens fighting the temple guard. Now being supported by the halberdiers. Let's head further down the line. We have the harbingers. Then we have the haven guard and the royal guard and the black guard. Is there not... Oh, Royal Guard have really nice shields, actually. Look a little like four-leaf clover, kind of. The Irish symbol for luck, I do believe. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, this fight's almost done. How about this one? Yeah. Yeah. Gondor's now sent support in the form of shielded fountain guard and probably a couple more units that I didn't see. <coughs> Froggies are still fighting. 64 to 89. Uh, let's head back to the front line over here because I do believe this is the first to go. My Harbinger's now down to 44. Our general lies slain upon the battlefield. There goes my general. Yep, as we now slowly start to win here. Speed it up a bit more. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Yeah, I do believe that was Pizza's general. Yeah, 
it. These guys are now getting surrounded. As you can tell, this thanks a foregone conclusion. Over here, we've pretty much broken through. Uh, the Orcs are still putting up a decent fight here. I'll give them that. Uh, it was actually one of the new players that was the last Orc standing. Which we did actually congratulate him on. Because it surprised us. Yeah, Froggy's pretty much dead now. So the only flanks worth watching now are... Well, how is this one? But I will keep it at an angle so that... I can watch there. You'll see why I want to watch there in a sec. Well, probably in a minute, actually. Yeah, HC, we're now charging down the hill. We're going to come all the way around and up this slope and hit them in the backside. Seventy-two to ninety-six. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. Just been up to a bit more action comes in. And we have another unit. Our men have captured the enemy Arcturus general. Arturus sending in Citadel well Guard. So he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Oh, and another unit of winged swordsmen. What are those orcs doing? Because they're not fleeing. Seventy three ninety seven. Speed it up a bit again. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Yeah, that was the last enemy general, I do believe. Seventy-three ninety-eight. So we're nearing the end. We're in the last two thousand frames, and there go my men coming to do the surround. I 
The last stand of Jeffrey. Yeah, dismounted swan knights coming round, hitting them in the back. 75 to 99. There's my own bone forces now coming up. My harbingers coming across. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. 75 to 100. thousand frames oh god there comes the black guards have fought long and are becoming tired. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Okay. Oh. What's the next unit coming down? Royal Guard. And it's almost over. Be awed by the victory we have won there here we go. today. Look at those kills. Oh. oh you can definitely tell which two um captains had the um fodder armies. <laughs> Just look at the numbers. Yeah, there we go. Most kills go into the two units of fences. Oh no, Naduzagar beat one of the fences, okay. But yeah, it's a very good fight. Thank you all for watching and I shall see you again another time.